through the week. And this is where, you know, we just give our opinion as I have two guests with me uh, who are always fantastic youngins. Uh, Faisal, you, Faisal, you say you're not a youngin. Introduce uh, yourself I'm, first I'm, I'm so I'm people can uh, get to know you first. Okay, my name is Faisal Hamed and I do digital content production at Zumi Kenya. So oh yeah, that's me. I do it all. Videos, yeah. entertainment, you know, we talk about sexual health, you know, fashion, um, everything, pretty much. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys to go and look for Pfizer yeah. and uh, <laughs> Instagram. You, yeah, she's what? quite edgy. <laughs> Brian is always with us at Digital Strategies in Canada. How are you, man? I'm good. I'm you good. made it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I, um, say he plays extreme sports with uh, all yeah, our careers by the Wait, I actually follow him on, on Twitter and yeah. it's really interesting reading those tweets every day. Like. He's, a, he's, a, he's a Twitter famous among us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very good too. Uh, <laughs> 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 Come on, but he's very humble. All yeah. right, uh, let's get into the week's uh, top stories. And uh, this week we start with Sonko. Sonko is at it again. A video of Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko chewing Mira Amahandas and addressing the county on Facebook Live uh, has emerged and it has made social media react in different ways. Mm -hmm. Sonko is addressing the people and asking them to send details of their financial problems to a number 0722-886600. Now, I'll have to tell you guys, I called this number. Mm -hmm. And? I, 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 I called this number. Uh -huh. I will tell you what happened, uh, but let's first watch that video. You need to go in the You bro. I'm going to Tikre, Kennedy Rita, watching from Stockholm, Asante Sana. Yeah? Yeah? I'm going to call you. Karegi, Chela. Two more details go 0722 I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. Becky, eh? Becky, eh? Becky, eh? Becky, eh? Becky, eh? Becky, eh? What did Babaya say in the Senate? Priscilla. I like how he said, what did Babayao say in Senate? Uh, you know, this is, he just fires up. I, I, I just think, like, why are people surprised? You know, about Sonko got, got into politics and the government based on the cool factor. Mm. You know, he did these things like he's walking around um, with earrings and studs. He has this walk, like, as if there's a soundtrack playing behind him. He's just like prancing around and he does things and people act surprised and they voted him in. This is not surprising. In fact, I think I admire him for um, being himself all the time, keeping it real. You know, people should not be surprised that he's <laughs> doing this on Facebook Live and just doing him, I don't, I don't know. Like it's, it's just Sonko being Sonko. Yeah, Sonko right. being he's, Sonko. He's, he's quite, he said the number 0722 mm. and I called that number. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, we can try call it on, on, on air, but when I called it, he mm. said uh, voicemail full. Yeah, let me try uh, and, uh, and get it. Yes, we, we called it and uh, Bunde, mm -hmm. this is, we're calling this number. <laughs> <laughs> that is what he Please says. Try again later. Definitely guys are sending him. Mailbox is full for this number. I'm sure after when, that video. when guys from committee are sending people texts, definitely <laughs> it will be full. Plus I think the surprising thing about this is that it's a governor actually mm. chewing Mira, as in guys, guys who chew Mira were so surprised, as in literally this is someone people voted for chewing Mira. It was so, yeah. Do you think, uh, Faisal said that it's just Sonko being real. Yeah, he's it's, just It's just him being real. Yeah. Yeah. If there's someone like Joho, definitely guys will be like, whoa. Mm. Yeah, but Sonko guys are like, eh, okay. We're it's used Sonko. to it. It's yeah. a new normal. Yeah. Yeah. It's him, it's Sonko. Plus yeah. I think people are not following instructions. They mm. said send details. I, yeah. uh, he means texting. Yeah. Mm. Why What's are up? you calling in the first place? <laughs> I'm the one of those people who I call. Because I, I was just curious, <laughs> I mean. Yeah. <laughs> 
So uh, that, that's uh, one of the videos that has done uh, rounds on social media. And speaking of another video that has done rounds, is a video of a white kid speaking in Kiswahili has gone viral on the web mm. uh, this weekend. Many people were fascinated by how the child was struggling to speak in Kiswahili. However, before mm. Kenyan started judging the kid, mm. someone from Tanzania Twitter gave it a new perspective after pointing out that that is what Tanzanians hear every time Kenyans start or attempt to speak in proper Kiswahili. So I'm going to do this. Mm. Bunde, <laughs> in your, giving your next point, eh? mm -hmm. give us your uongena Kiswahili sanifu. After the video, kusema kweli, wa Kenya tunalemewa na Kiswahili. Kiswahili chetu ni kibaya kusababu, I think, okay, that's why it's so bad because it's mixed with sheng. Yeah. Then you see the problem is everywhere we go, especially on Twitter, it's someone speaking with sheng. So, Trust me, after some time, your soa just becomes bad. But when you used to coast to hanging out with Costarians, yeah. definitely after some time, your Kiswahili starts okay. becoming like that. Hi. Yeah. Hmm. I know Faisal's gonna <laughs> say, Faisal's good, Faisal's good. So before that, let's play the video. Here's a kid who is just disturbed Twitter. <laughs> Razi wa Tanzania, Magafuli na Asante Sana wa Tanzania, Asante Sana with Eli Mimi na with my bro John Jackson JJ. We hope to see you soon at the Nungorongoro Kilimanjaro Serengeti. Hope to see you soon, guys. So there it is, the kid. <laughs> the kid. So that's a guy, Mr. Johnson, who said uh, that is what Kenyans, uh, what, what Tanzanians see. Pfizer. Yeah, me, I am siding with the Tanzanians. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Marcus Jones, <laughs> senior. So this is what Tanzanians hear when Kenyans speak Kiswahili. Pfizer. I agree with him because I'm from the coast and um, that's what we think about people from Nairobi. So when you start speaking, I'm just like, well, can I just blend in? Then when I go home, it's a different, <laughs> whole totally different, different scenario because yeah. Even when I'm speaking to my parents on the phone, it has to, it has to change. It has to change. <laughs> Switch yeah. is really fast. Um, what I can find any in All right, let's move on very fast. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, there's another disturbing video that emerged on Twitter last weekend. We can't play it, but it sparked outrage and excitement and fear at the same time after a very nosy neighbor recorded intimate moments of a couple in an unknown an location. We cannot verify. Uh, the location of this, but they said that this was in Kasarani, but it brought out the issue of how safe uh, is your, how safe are you at home while, you know, doing your own things? Because somebody recorded people being intimate and uh, then they leaked it to, 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 the, to the web. Yeah. I saw. I, I didn't see. I didn't <laughs> see that. Wait, <laughs> first of all, no, 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 no. Let me just tell you. When that video made rounds. I was like, okay, it's Ramadan. I do not want to risk burning my eyes and not see <laughs> from like this holy month. I cannot do it. So I gave it to my friend, and I was like, okay, um, explain it to me like you would a child. Yeah. And she did. So yeah. I was like, okay, this is, you cannot trust anyone nowadays. Your boyfriend, your husband, your neighbors, everyone. For all we know, this boyfriend of hers might have set her up. Yeah. You know, like backlash, if you, if you look at it, Kenyans mm. are just like, okay, the girl, like, what are you doing? Pointing fingers to the girl. The guy is the hero in this case. So in, in terms of privacy, I think, <laughs> I don't know, just put, um, wooden bars on your windows when you're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because people can be inappropriate. Yeah, you yeah. know, you, know, you can never trust anyone. My, my biggest question was, why was this guy's phone not on silent? Is that because recording, they put silent ring, then, mm -hmm. I don't know, this guy still continued, as in, yeah, I was yeah, thinking that's, a, that's the point. So what Bundy is talking about is that when the video, this nosy neighbor was recording from uh, another person's window yeah. Yeah. of them in the bedroom, mm. and then somebody called the person who was recording, recording. and, and yeah. it was so loud, and, and you could hear yeah, it in the video. The guy who was, oh, yeah, yes, oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, he was even startled. He would just continue doing his things. I'm like, how bold, how know. bold me, for, me, me, I'll just say this, yeah? Who are the boys? Who are you? Because this was a setup. Yeah. yeah, just know it was yeah. a setup. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Please be safe. Close your curtains whenever you go home mm -hmm. to Fadali because people will be out there and they'll record you doing stuff and then they will leak it to the internet and it will be embarrassing. All right, let's go to our last story. The government has denied and cited as 
fake news, a story that was doing grounds on social media that a UN student had deleted files from the National uh, Integrated Identity uh, Management System servers or the Huduma number servers. Uh, mm -hmm. This is got to show <clears throat> just how slippery the internet can be as a source of news. And people are still very gullible and easily fooled because almost everyone believed that story. I saw even, uh, I, I remember Joe Mushiri tweeted it. Uh, no, he put it on his Instagram mm -hmm. as, a, as a real <coughs> one. I know you can't blame him because it was uh, tagged as, as it came from Business Daily, but it was yeah. a Photoshop kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. How gullible are people these days? I think fake news. The problem with Kenyans is that um, we really suck at verifying info. Mm -hmm. So when someone sees a post, they don't actually go online and actually look for that post. They just look at a screenshot, then they say, okay, this is a legit story. They don't do background checks. Now the problem with fake news is that there are so many guys who are gullible out there who they'll see, okay, it's, let's say, Joe Mushi who's posted this link. So they'll be like, okay, this guy is someone with so many followers. Definitely this story is legit. Mm. Yeah. Well, um, um, Huduma number, like, oh, I, Huduma number I, I, am not, I am not even informed. <laughs> like, not I, I'm not boarding to begin with because <laughs> I don't Huduma even number. know what this Huduma number is all Why about. Are they giving us that you much guys pressure? want to be American so badly, yani, as in, wha why? I, I don't understand. Unless someone comes to me with information on how it's going to help me or the government, then maybe I can start lining up, queuing up, and getting this number. Like, for now, mm -mm, do you have a no. passport? Nicola? Have you renewed your passport? I think question mind. should because be because you won't get a passport without the Question number. should be mm -hmm. Have I even gone anywhere with that passport? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that would be that's a catch because if you don't have a passport, yeah. if you're trying to renew, you'll have to get a Uduma number. So, come on, Kokoyo, I'm not yeah, boarding, which is yeah. like almost a lot of people on social media. But I, I saw like a lot of people tweet about it, yeah. but mm -hmm. then it's okay, it's okay. Ap let's let's that. see if this guy are getting better government services than us we don't have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, that's it. Uh, some of the series that have sparked conversations across social media, web wars. Uh, thank you guys for coming on. Hey. Thanks Faiza. for inviting us. <laughs> Where can people get you on social media? They can get me um, on Instagram mostly because I'm active there at hijabi underscore villain. So, yeah. yeah, hijabi yeah. villain. That is exactly what she is. <laughs> <laughs> Bunde. <laughs> I'm good. When you follow come attack, it's okay. Hey, Sama Basi. Sama Basi, we are very sorry. We are very sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm coming up next with Level Up, and Etana will be coming to studio. So, guys, I know these ones will not go anywhere. They're waiting for Etana on the other side. So, <laughs> also, don't go anywhere. We take a short break, but we'll be back with Level Up Fridays on the other side of the studio. Thank you for watching, Webos. My name is Kimani Mugwe. See you next week. Mm -hmm.